But just keep track of how many old Newfoundland sayings that you, you're familiar with. A typical Newfoundlander. A typical Newfoundlander, and I'm proud, I'm proud that I am one, besides the Queen's good English, has a language all its own. For instance, if you meet one and inquire about his health, he's not just fine, I like the bird, he is persuaded by it. How's yourself? Such sayings as, I bang you will, so up, and heard a four, and most are rights, and straightened up, and dunch, and doubt the fire. These need no explanations, we've heard them in our cradle. And we all know what the apple is, though it wasn't in our tables. And we know what the great one is, a half and a kelic. I spent me time around the pumps, although I was a twig. We slewed around and went to work, turned to and took a spell. While a clever looking boys and girls, I'm sure you've all heard tell. We go around the belly carter and there's foxes in the ice and only a Newfoundlander can fall down and get a heist. You'd never guess a bedlamer was an adolescent lad while intermittent snow flurries are dwys or just a scan. Now, some people say Dance out. This I don't understand. For everybody always says, Dan North in Newfoundland. Buy me your ass, let them buy it. You'll hear the old folks say, and when you drink a switchel, that's black and sweet and tay. Some think we live on fish and spots, and that fairly makes me boil. For this a treat when spring comes round to get a meal of swile. A local dish is fish and brews. The youngsters like the scrunchings and they love the lassie sugar and the bottom of the punchings. We used to have such hearty grub as tavins, duffs and tarts, but the maids are gone romantic with their cookies shaped like hearts. And poor Grandpa, he's all crippled up, but rheumatiz, not gout. He keels out on the settle, and he says he's fair worn out. Sometimes he gets his dander up because he's lost his spring. He frets and grumbles when he thinks how his work is all in slings. And does your house be in a riva? I'm sorry, does your clock be sometimes random? Were you ever in a tear? Does your house be in a riva? Do you find things shocking there? And were you ever really put out? Did you ever not to be? If you're not a new philander, you don't know what I mean. But time brings alterations. And soon we'll hear no more. Those quaint old local sayings as in the days of yore. But in my heart, I treasure them, that I'll be seen to be a simple part of home sweet home, precious to a simple man like me. But that poem was written by Rose Sullivan, from Trinity, probably 70 years ago. <laughs>